everyone, Brett Wallace, your Fort Bend, Texas realtor. Wanted to talk to you today for a couple moments about home inspections. What are they? Um, do I need them? Um, how much do they run? And a couple other things like that. And uh, what, what do you do once you find things, right? Because every home's gonna have things noted on the inspection, even new homes. So first thing, you're gonna want a reputable inspector that's been doing this a while, that's familiar with the area um, that you're buying your home in. Um, your real estate agent should have a couple referrals for you and their preferred inspector. And maybe your family, friends, neighbors have used an inspector where they had a great experience with. So go ahead and, and talk to a couple different people and, and select one. You're gonna wanna inspect the home you know, within the first few days of getting the home under contract. So um, they're gonna offer you, it's called a structure mechanical inspection. They will also ask if you want a WDI inspection, which is wood destroying insects. Most notably termites. Those are the ones you want to mainly um, make sure aren't your studs and your framing, right? So um, here in Texas, you, you know, on an average size home, 3,000 square feet, you know, 450, 500 bucks for a structure mechanical, and then you know, 75, 85, 100 dollars even for a termite. That's kind of, that's kind of, that's kind of in line. You know, everybody's gonna be a little different. So um, also, new home inspections. There are three, typically three phases. There's uh, the pre pre foundation, the pouring of the concrete and the slab, then your pre drywall before the drywall gets hung and you have the framing up and all your mechanicals, that's the best inspection. Um, third is your final. You can always get a final inspection anytime. So that's the resale inspection. That's what, if you're buying a home that's 20 years old, you're basically gonna be getting the third phase inspection, which is the final, the, 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 home, the completed home inspection. So um, once you get the inspection, typically, if my inspector says, hey, I'm gonna be there at 12 and it's gonna take three hours, I usually arrive at 2.45 to three o'clock, like when they're, when they're wrapping up, so that, that way we can walk through the findings, his notes, his pictures on his digital camera, um, and we can kind of go over the main, the, the highlights of his findings. And then of course the next day you'll get the report supplemented with um, code cited with pictures, uh, basically a color, a color inspection report with color photos and you know arrows pointing to the exact deficiency. Um, so that's great, but the verbal explanation is pretty key, and it go, it, you know, you like to be on site with the inspector if you can. If not, my clients are out of state. I'm on speakerphone with them, and you know they can interact with the inspector or we FaceTime them and let them see the stuff we're walking to in the house. So um, that's kind of the inspection process for the structure mechanical. Um, as far as what do you do when you find stuff, I always tell my clients like, look. If it's not time sensitive, such as like a hole in the roof and there's water blowing in and or, or the water heater, you know, is corroded and it's gargling real bad, the water and the TPR relief valve's broken and, you know, it's in the attic especially and we're expecting that any day we could come into three inches of water on the hardwoods and, and you know, sheetrock damaged and all this, anything time sensitive, you may want to ask the seller to do that repair, you know, as soon as possible because they might not have known about it and if it's time sensitive and ticking time bomb you don't want you don't want to do a 30-day contract with that in the back of your head thinking man this could destroy um, this could be a twenty thirty thousand dollar you know damage during the contract so um, but for, for mostly every other thing it's easier to ask for a dollar allowance um, every situation is different and again this is Texas this is Fort Bend County Texas um, this is kind of how we do things here it might be different other places by all means refer to your own real estate agents and professionals in your own area uh, for their guidance and um, but here I, I would instead of you know asking for five six seven small things for the seller to do and again they might repair things differently than the way you would um, as the outgoing party to the property as the incoming party that you would so you might do a repair like I would have done it this way and a lot more thorough and it would have cost more it just sort of a gray area um, it's kind of you know for the most part let's ask for monies it's just cleaner it's neater the seller will get a little bit less of a check the day of closing and that way you can fix the house at your time and dime and to the extent of the repair you want um, and it just makes things easier on the negotiations so um, again structure and mechanical inspections vital termite inspection unless it's a brand new home and there's nothing around um, we generally say always get a wood destroying insect inspection and a lot of people even do them on new homes um, but they're absolutely vital if you want to buy a home um, unless you're a cash buyer and investor and just getting a ridiculous deal on the house it, it, it's pretty much a requirement to work with me if you're gonna buy a home and I'm involved that you get an inspection right unless you're just 
you know, Mr. Big Time Investor, and, and you're getting it for 60 cents on the dollar, and you don't care if an extra 10 or 15,000 in damages is around. That's 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 different. But for your average home buyer, everyone's going to want to get an inspection. Um, if you like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit like. If you want me to address any topics that are of interest to you, I will. Leave a note below. Um, my website's brettwallace.com. All my contact info's there. You can reach out to me via text, call, email, um, about anything. So um, hope you guys are doing great. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.